Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago, and today I'm going to be testing Payday 3 on the Steam Deck. So first of all, thanks to Deep Silver for providing a code of the game. I got an Epic Games Store code, but it's also available on Steam. If you want to play the Epic Games Store version in your Steam Deck, you just need to install the Epic Games Store. So link in the description or tutorial on how to do it. Otherwise, this game is a real engine 4, has an FOB slider. The resolution is the native one, but... There is upscaling. This is basically TAAU, as far as I know, but it's horrible. It doesn't work great. It doesn't look good. Same with on the aliasing. You have the option between off, FXAA, performance, or quality. This is TAA, but again, one of the worst TAA solutions that I've ever seen. So with the lowest settings and upscaling on performance, so 50% resolution, 400p basically. We're jumping straight into the game. Alright guys, welcome to Payday 3. As you can see, it's already stuttering. This is one of those Unreal games that has very heavy shader compilation stutter. I mean, even the game scope is frozen. So yeah, once it loads the shaders, you can play above 20 FPS. <laughs> but in certain maps like this one, when you look into the distance, you're going to get drops below 30. Like here. So, what's the solution to this? There's no solution. You got to play until the shaders compile, so my advice is to just mask up, destroy everything, so the shaders load. And hopefully next time you launch the game, it won't stutter this bad. But as you can see, it's super rough. So, my advice right now, at least on the Steam Deck, to avoid issues like this, not fix them, avoid them and improve it as much as possible, is to force DirectX 12. This is a DirectX 11 game, but you can force DX12 with a, a command. So I'll show you how to do so right now, because this is unbearable. <laughs> I mean, look at this, lowest settings, lowest resolution. <laughs> Alright guys, in my case, I have the Epic Games Store version, but if you have it on Steam, it should be the same process. In the Epic Games Store, you gotta go to settings, scroll down to the bottom, Payday 3, and in here, put dash DX12, press enter, and you're done. On Steam Deck, if you have it on Steam, I'll put Cyberpunk as an example go into settings, properties, and then down here, type DX12, hit enter, and you're good to go. Okay guys, so now we're on DX12, as you can see, standing in the same place, and I'm over 30 now, thank god. <laughs> so, the DX11 version, at least for me on PC, had lots of CPU requirements in comparison to DX12, but unfortunately, this doesn't fix the issue, as I said before. You can still have to load those shaders. So, the first run, you gotta shoot the place up to load those shaders. So you don't escape from shader compilation, but the overall experience is a million times better on the Steam Deck than before. I mean, yeah, you stutter every time you see something new. But on the X11, it froze in place many times. It was basically unplayable. At least here, you can get away with it a little bit further. I mean, it's way more playable than the X11. Still, they need to improve this significantly. It's horrible on the Steam Deck. Also, I heard that it was more of an AMD card thing, because this game apparently runs better on Nvidia cards than AMD. So this doesn't help the Steam Deck at all, unfortunately. So yeah, let me show you. Another explo an explosion. Stutter, happen! There we go. And now the next time we explode something like that, it won't stutter. Or not as much. Yep, there it is. So what's my advice right now? Well, let's do a balance. Let's increase the resolution and put some stuff on medium. And I'll show you in handheld mode how it looks. Got rid of that fucking sniper. Because this is horrible. So yeah, outside it will probably drop below 30, but 
let me show you how it goes. Effects on low, and that's it. So these are my final settings. I'll show you those super quickly. Beauty distance medium, shadow slow, post processing medium, low textures, low effects, medium foliage. And that's basically it. Quality upscaling and you should be good to go. All right. Let's keep going. Stay down. Also, apologies. I never played this game with a controller. I've been playing it with mouse and keyboard for quite a few hours. So if you don't mind the stutter in the first run, you should be good, but make sure to set it to DX12. Avoid DX11 at all costs, okay? It's just my advice. I mean, you saw it. When I was moving in DX11, it was frozen in place at many points. And right now, it's actually playable. But I cannot hit anything. Oh god, yeah, the cheater compilation. See, that was a new effect I didn't compile. Same with breaking this camera. I'm pretty sure when I break it, it'll stutter. Yeah, there we go. Now the next camera I break won't have such issue. So yeah, that's my biggest issue with the game. Clearly it runs worse on AMD cards than Nvidia's, so that doesn't help the Steam Deck because it's an AMD APU. And at the same time, on every GPU, even NVIDIA cards, you have shader compilation stutter. So each time you see something new, boom, stutter. So to fix it here, I would say fix it. To improve it here, I would say use the X12. It will be a lot better. Instead of the game being frozen in place, it will be a better experience. It will stutter from time to time. But well, that's basically it. So yeah, I'll personally use the X12. Lock it to 30, because 40 appears to be impossible, especially on the GPU side. So something like this. I hate doing this, but I have to. Here in the game, refresh rate, that's okay. Allow tearing, I'll lock it to 30. Oh, and I have to enable VSync in the game, because this is not a... This is an epic store game for me. And there we go. It's horrible to play this at 30. But as of right now, this is the only thing we can do. Which is horrible. Because it will still stutter even if you lock the frame rate. <laughs> so, want to play this game on the Steam Deck? I wouldn't recommend it right now. You can get away with it. But I'll use the... Um, unlock frame rates, really. 30, it just doesn't feel right. So yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's just the latency of the FPS cap is very noticeable. Yeah, and my aim is not existent. <laughs> okay, it's getting better now. But it breaks my heart because I've been waiting for this game for so long. I play on my higher end PC, of course, whatever. But not being able to play it here properly, it's heartbreaking, really. Especially because visually the game is okay, but it's nothing groundbreaking. I mean, let's be honest. So my hope for the future is that they improve the AMD compatibility on the GPU side. And also that they add uh, FSR2. Because the game has DLSS for RTX cards, but FSR is completely missing. So that would really help. And please, a shader compilation pass before launching the game. Please. <laughs> That's what we need. Otherwise, I'll call it unplayable. Of course, in the X12 fixes the issue, most of the issues for me though. But still. This is not how, how I want to play the game. Alright. So that's why I'm not making a 40 FPS configuration. I think it's a waste of time right now. 
I mean, you can get there if you lower everything, but at that point, it just looks like a blurry mess, and you're still getting shader compilation stutter. So, once if the shader compilation gets fixed at some point, I'll update this video. But as of right now, you gotta get through that the first time you play the game, unfortunately. But as you can see, the Civic is capable of running the game. It just needs tweaking. Especially outside, because for some reason outside I drop frames like crazy. Although the effects, in my opinion, look pretty good. The particles there. Anyway, hopefully in the future we get updates that fix it. But as of right now, I think it's a skip from me. Unless you have it on, on Game Pass. It's on Game Pass, so if you have Windows, you can play this on Game Pass if you want to check it out, but still. They need to fix that shader compilation. Probably Valve is has pre-compiled shaders, so that will improve the, the experience if you have the Steam version. But overall, performance should be the same. So, for this one on Steam Deck, I'll say wait. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.